So I'm on Bazine. This is Bazine running, doing the OBS capture. So we'll have a look at it on there. OK, so here we are. We're in <coughs> Bazine. I'm going to fire up DaVinci Resolve. And I just shot some clips, two clips. And I'm just going to sort of very quickly show you the difference between uh, ProRes, there we go, ProRes RAW and um, B-RAW. So the first shot here, you can see in the timeline, is Blackmagic RAW. Now, <clears throat> how I shot this was basically um, I've used their constant, hang on, there's the two types of compression. You've got the one with the ratios and then you've got the one where <clears throat> it tries to maintain constant quality within the shot. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's have some coffee. And what that one does, it literally tries to go for the best picture. So if you put it on the zero setting, it will just go for gold and it can outdo your SSD because it's trying to just grab as much. So it's literally as uncompressed as it can get with that codec. Provis RAW, on the other hand, you've got HQ and RAW. And HQ is there, uh, the HQ one is the highest uh, quality it captures. And it's sort of been likened to ProRes 444XQ, um, which is the very high-end um, compressed codec that um, ProRes you can get, but it doesn't have, you can't, you don't have any RAW, RAW functions with it. And if so, this is the first one, it's just a shot of the chair. And then this is the second one, same chair, I'd literally, there's, there is a bit of me in the shot, but I'm not doing that. We, we may see me not too bothered about that. Anyway, so what I've done, they're on the timeline. It's 4K. 